वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स टू द क्लास नंबर सिक्सटी टू इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव डिस्कस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कैश प्रॉफिट ऑपरेटिंग कैश प्रॉफिट एंड नॉर्मल प्रॉफिट एंड नाउ इट इज टाइम दैट वी अंडरस्टैंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट वट इज एबिडा इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड पी बी डी आई टी इन सम केसेज सो एबिडा एंड पी बी डी आई टी आर वन एंड द सेम थिंग जस्ट अ डिफरेंट नेम नेम्स फॉर द सेम थिंग सो हाउ डू वी कैलकुलेट एबिडा एंड वट डू एबिडा टेल्स अस राइट so abida and pbdt is the topic for discussion for today it is called earning before interest tax depreciation and amortization so this is your earning this is your earning from the business and from this earning you haven't yet deducted the interest expense you haven't yet deducted the tax expense and you haven't yet deducted the depreciation and amortization so by basically depreciation and amortization when we say depreciation and amortization we want to say that the non cash expenses are not deducted from these earnings it means that these earnings represents the cash earnings of the business right it is also called pbdit so pbdit means profit before depreciation interest and tax right so how do we calculate abida so this is the basic formula of abida calculation you take net cash operating profit before tax remember it it is to be taken before tax since we are calculating the earning before tax only right so these are these calculation of these operating net cash operating profits i have already explained to you in the previous videos let me remind you once again what was the formula of net cash operating profit you take net profit before tax net profit before tax right you add back all the non cash expenses so your depreciation your amortization will be covered under this head will be covered under this head automatically you deduct the non cash incomes so if we see the definition of abida earning before interest tax tax depreciation and amortization it doesn't anywhere say that the non cash incomes need to be deducted from here but this is the common parlance this is the common way of calculation of abida in the industry by abida we want to calculate the cash earning of the entity before payment of interest and tax right so in order to calculate the accurate cash earning we have to deduct the non cash incomes of the entities as well we should add back the extraordinary and exceptional expenses abida is a parameter which is used by the equity shareholder investor which is used by the lenders to analyze the business to analyze the business accurately we need to see what are their normal nature of business expense if there is any extraordinary or exceptional expense or exceptional income then they need to be removed their effect need to be removed from the profits so that we can see the clear picture we can see the actual level of general and normal operating earning generated by the business from its business so therefore the adjustments of these extraordinary incomes and expenses is mandatory in abida calculation minus non operating incomes i have already explained to you in the previous video that uh, normal profits and operating profits are slightly different so when we calculate abida if we are calculating abida we want to know the abida of core business operations then we need to deduct these kind of non operating incomes from abida calculations as well so this was the same formulas that we have discussed in the previous videos of calculation of net cash operating profit before tax remember in this profit your interest that you have to pay to your lenders to your debt financers is already deducted from here it is already deducted from here so from these profits you have paid back since the interest is already deducted it means you have paid back the interest from these profits already right so now these profits after payment of interest can be used by the entity for payment of government taxes right since these profits are before tax any payment of tax to the government shall be done out of these profits only right or wrong this this profit this cash profit this cash normal operating profit shall be used to pay the principal amounts of loan as well because the interest amount is already paid back from this amount 
now you if you want to pay back the principal then its funds shall be generated shall be arranged from the income of the entity only so this amount shall be used to pay back the interest as well uh, pay back the principal as well this amount shall be used to pay the dividend to the shareholders or you know, if any capital withdrawal that you want you can do that from these profits only right and if anything is left out of these profits after paying them if anything is left then that amount shall be retained in the business and which can be used for its capex future capex and for its day to day working requirements right so remember these this profit this amount of profit profit in which interest is already deducted this up uh, this profit can be used to pay three for three persons first is government second is that your debt financers and third is your equity shareholders or the owners right if anything is left that will be used for the business for its expansion plans or its day to day working capital management right so this is what i have explained here these are the profits and earnings after paying all expenses and interest is also paid from these profits now this money can be used for these these four options right but the question is since we are calculating the earning that will be used to pay off the government to pay off the debt financers to pay off the equity financers and re remaining amount to be used for the business if we want to calculate how much total profit that we have earned to pay the debt in total here only principal amount is calculated right but if we want to calculate the amount of profits cash operating profits that will be used to pay whole of debt principal plus interest then we have to add back interest here also so if we add back the interest we get our figure of abida now this abida this uh, this amount that we have come calculated here shall be used to pay off the government for as taxes shall be used to pay off debt financers for their principal and interest shall be used to pay off the equity financers for any dividend or capital withdrawal right and the remaining amount shall be used for the business expansion and day to day working of the business right so only one thing need to change if you want to calculate the total amount of profits you need to just add back the interest here right so abida is basically your cash operating profit in the business that is use that that the which are to be used for payment of taxes to the government payment to the debt financer and payment to the equity shareholders you want to see how much earning cap capacity of the entity is there to generate this this income which is sufficient to pay off all of these financers and what and what is the remaining amount that will be left to plan the expansions and the day to day working of the entity right so this is the concept of abida and pbdat in the next video i will be discussing about what are the shortcomings and drawbacks of abida stay tuned to this channel thank you very much